The Hebrew text in the Bible has hidden formats. By revealing these formats, I will prove the first writer's words were hidden from you. These formats look like poetry. I would like to show you the Twelve Commandments listed in Exodus chapter 20, verses 1 through 17. These commandments are the agreement between our Creator and His nation Israel, and they agreed with our Creator that any father of a family or his wife who did not obey any of these Twelve Commandments, our Creator demanded them to bring him a sin offering to their priest to be forgiven of their sin. Thus, our Creator defined the word sin as not obeying any one of these Twelve Commandments. Now I want to show you how I changed one word in Exodus 20, verse 26, the word bars to arches. And the words now reveal the style of the roof for his tent for meeting with him and the roof style for the house for meeting with him. So who has been editing the first writer's words to hide this knowledge from you? Let me show you their words from the 1611 preface which the translators inserted into the front of the English King James Bible in 1611. They gave four reasons for themselves to edit the Bible. The one I want to show you is the red arrow at the top, which points to the third reason. By the light and feeling we attained unto ourselves. The next red arrow down points to them giving the title, The Divine, to a clerk, named Gregory. Now the next block of words, they point out they were happy that the first emperor of Rome changed our creator's calendar by setting the year to the course of the sun. Behind this text means Nebuchadnezzar ordered his kingdom to follow our creator's calendar when he stopped eating grass. Did you notice how the letter S in sun is capitalized? This is to give respect to the Egyptian sun god, Ra. And you can also see they have an Egyptian obelisk in the Vatican's courtyard. The last arrow points to your reward for studying the Bible. Your reward is to have a fellowship with the saints and a participation of a heavenly nature that will never fade away. In their own words, I will say those men were not seeking to help people who are seeking knowledge from the first writers writing in the Hebrew text. I have an old Bible program that I use to help find a better word from the New American Standards 1977 Concordance, which has the number of times they use that English word in parentheses for that Hebrew word. My revealing of the first writer's words will make the text read like the first writer had wrote them, and their words will take your belief to trusting our Creator. Okay, looks like uh, I forgot the lights. And maybe I am a little bit too bright, but that's okay, I think. Um, on, to ver or on to Psalms 28. And if you're new and don't understand what's going on, these are the formats that I have found so far in uh, Psalms. So I'll just let them play for a little bit to show you what they look like for you to take a screenshot of. This is history. And when I get done, you will have a new Bible that you can trust based on finding these hidden formats. So, um, I guess that's enough for right now, and I will get started here. And just like the text says above, I'm just going to go through and start cutting it up. Um, and the first thing I should note, uh, when I'm getting rid of text, like everything in a parentheses, I will highlight that blue and make it eight point. These two letters that you see here is uh, the closest that we're going to come to understanding or saying our Creator's name. Uh, this is what Strong's shows us in the Hebrew Concordance. 
He gives us two possible names, but they had no J, no O, no W. So anything with these letters is just too far away. The letter H is silent on the end sometimes, so you'll see this word as his name. I've simplified it by just saying these two letters, and if you pronounce it in Hebrew, you'll be closer than I am. But that is what you see here. <laughs> well, as what I'm starting, what I'm doing with uh, his name. To you, YV, I call my rock. Do not be deaf to me, least you, least if you be silent to me, I become like those who go down to the pit. Hear the voice of my supplication, supplications, when I cry to you for help. When I lift up my hands, when I lift up my hands toward your holy sanctuary, our crater does not need a sanctuary, so that word is just wrong. Uh, do not drag me away with the wicked and those who work iniquity, who, who speak peace with their neighbors. While evil is yes. this is not a good start with the cough. Um, while evil is in their hearts, requite them according to their work and according to the evil. the deeds of their hand, repay them with a recompense. Because do not regard, because they do not regard the works of Wivy. Whoops. Um. Nor the deeds of his hand. Now, that's kind of odd. It's all of a sudden completely away from here the deeds it should be of your hands he will tear them down and not build them up bless be wivy we can never bless our creator we aren't qualified to bless our creator okay so that word is just out because he has heard the voice of my supplication, why he is my strength and my shield and my heart trust in him and I am helped, therefore my heart exalts and with my song I will thank him. Why he is their strength and he is a saving defense to his anointed. Well, this would be Jesus, wouldn't it? So let's put Jesus into the text real quick and go like this and color them as color. And this is how I'm going to honor and respect Jesus in the text by using first capital letter and then uh, anything related to him as of importance, like walking, talking. We'll have a first letter. Uh, I, uh, in capital letters, and you're going to see our Creator's tech, all His words or His possession will be in all capital letters, and that way I am respecting and honoring our Creator. Save your people and bless your inheritance. Be their shepherd. Be their shepherd and carry them be their shepherd. And carry them forever. Okay. Now that was the easy part. <clears throat> now let me blow this up a little bit more. Get this over on the screen for you. 
Hey, uh, how you doing? I am going to show you how easy it is to find these hidden formats. Right now I'm doing what's above here in the blue text. Sorry, when I get carried away, I'm a little late on uh, the text or on the messages. Um, <clears throat> other than that, welcome aboard. And what I do now is try to group the words together. Uh, to you, Wyvie, I call my rock. Do not be deaf to me. Okay, now this, the word deaf to me and silent to me is how I'm seeing that, how it's related. I will become like those who go down to the pit. That seems to be here, but the pit is not the pit. It is abyss. A, B, Y, S, S. Um, the abyss. Our creator defines, um, when he talks to Cain, that uh, after he killed his brother, that our creator talks to him and says, Cain, I can hear your brother from the ground. Now, the thing here is, is a lot of times uh, the word ground is not really correct. We'll find uh, uh, the words Sheol and Abyss in the text, though. When I did a study, it shows that the Sheol is like a city in the Abyss. Uh, so what is the Abyss? Um, our creator dis defines the Abyss as the deepest, darkest prison. Now... The thing here is, is what does what do he mean by the ground when he talked to Cain? Well, the thing here is, is he uh, we he has a or those at that time had a simple idea of what creation is about, and where the birds fly is our first heaven, where the uh, the star's motion creates this mountain, and that's called Mount Zion in the far north, and you'll find only that knowledge in the New American Standard Bible um, in uh, Psalms 48.2. And this is, this is known as the second heaven, and above the North Star is where our Creator created heaven, and they had the idea that that's where he lived because after he got done talking to Abraham, he ascended into heaven where Abraham raised his uh, staff and asked for a plague. He looked to heaven. This mountain in the sky is also known by the Greeks as Mount Olympus. So what they didn't understand, what they understood by this abyss or Sheol is that when you the soul will not die so your soul is going to continue to live and it's the space underneath the ground um it's also called the netherworld by a lot of ancient people but that is what our creator told us where the souls are going after they had uh the body died on earth now Hear the voice of my supplications. Well, a supplication and a petition is the same thing. And it's asking our Creator for something. So I don't know if this word is right right here right now, because I haven't really read it. And I don't know if he's been asking for anything. Um, so if he's talking to our Creator, that's a prayer in the act or the way you stand kneel or um spread your hands out when you're talking to our creator that is how you pray um so you got to understand what the word pray is and understand what the uh prayer is is talking to our creator one on one here This here is here the voice of Mike's. Uh, you don't need the word voice here. That's just because you're going to hear his supplications, you know that you're speaking these. Here, my petitions, 
when I cry out to you for help. I guess that would be asking Sims, so that's, but he's got a, he's calling out many times if I leave an S here. When I lift my hands towards your holy sanctuary, our Creator does not need a sanctuary, <laughs> absolutely not, but he does need, but he does have a tent for meeting with him. So this is a tent for meeting with our Creator here. And it's not really holy. A tent cannot be holy. His presence in the tent is what makes it holy. But when I lift up my hands towards your tent, and that's kind of odd to say it that way, um, I know that when in the Sinai, after they built the tent for meeting with him, that when Moses went to the tent, they would all stand and um, watch as he would enter and then enter the gate and go up to the house door or the tent door. And then our creator's uh, cloud would descend and he would talk to them there. So this here is easy enough that you can see right now I've got a two-verse format going here, all right? Now, this two-verse format might end up being four-verse that they might hook together because what I see here is like, this is how this writer is writing these verses. They are connected together. So I, I'll put these marks in to show that. And so what I'm going to do is be looking for more of these two verse formats here. Do not drag me away with the wicked. Now this verse is pretty much uh, stating like as it's already at the time of being led into captivity. Do not drag me away. Do not send me away uh, with the wicked. Okay, and they wouldn't be wicked if he was sending them away. They have to be evil or completely against our Creator. Now, by that, I'm going to show you what I mean. Um, this is Malachi 2.11. This is the kingdom Judah has married the daughter of a foreign god. And we find in uh, Jeremiah how she is described as the queen of heaven. And it's our forefathers, our kings. They didn't have princes at that time. So uh, you can probably say priests, uh, scribes, uh, judges. Everybody was onto this female goddess. And uh, they did a lot of these things. So this is why they sent our, them into, our creator sent them into um, captivity. Now, yeah, that's all I want to mention right there on that uh, for right now. If you have any more questions on the female goddess, I can get into it. Got quite a bit of uh, to say about her. Um, what am I doing? I'm looking for these 12 commandments. This is what our Creator um, spoke as a agreement between him and the people in the Sinai and with their descendants after that they would follow. If they didn't follow these or obey these 12 commandments, then they were to uh, bring a sin offering. Therefore, these are the only sins that our Creator defined because He said a sin offering. Now, as you see, uh, one and two have no other God before me. This was breaking the, this agreement. And if there was many of them breaking it, this is why I'm seeing this text uh, with the wicked is not right. It has to be evildoers.
that because wicked is uh I would say a step down from evil doers. Wickedness is something that you can do on to other people. And I started making a list the other day. Um, that's what happens when you're not really prepared. Um, you know, I was going to have like evil doers, evilness. And then it was wickedness, and then deceitfulness. There's lower, and then there's liars, and then there's unbelievers. I'm not sure how I'm going to rate them or put them in what order yet. But those are the words that I know that uh, how you advance to <laughs> become an evil doer. Okay, there's many steps, and it was the one that they were breaking uh, his. Uh, agreement and their descendants were breaking the agreement is why he sent them into captivity. Do not drag me away. Do not send me away. I know drag is not going to be in this concordance that I have. This is the Bible program, 1977 NSAB. The program no longer exists, but what you'll find is that um, when I click on a word here, here it is, but you'll see that there's two words here together. So they'll say drag in me away and they'll fill in in between the text. See, they'll have drag me away once, uh, drawn away once. But these, this, what's so unique about this concordance is that it tells us the number of times they use those English words. And that's why they don't allow you to see that anymore. Because if I start showing you, say, example, that the word dove they used for a man's name four times. Uh, they used, when it's used as the word boy, it's actually used for the word girl once. So I'm pretty sure that's why this, <laughs> I have yet to be able to find this concordance out there for everybody to get a hold of. But drag me away, I do not see that. It is about sending them away, not being dragged away. So it's too corrupt, so I'm going to have to say, do not send me away. And that's something that our creator would do. So that's going to be in this color. And I know it's the intent of being send away. Do not send me away. So I'm not going to underline it. If I if I underline it, it means I'm thinking about that word and whether that word still needs adjusting. But I'm feeling that this doesn't, this falls within the range of me being able to change the word and not say I completely added the word. If I completely add the word, I'll make it gray and make it eight point italic. Um, I don't see any words here that are, uh, let me show you down here. See, this is how uh, the New American Standard would, they when they italicized the w words, that means that they added those words into the Bible. So they added something like, I think, 10,000 words in 77, and they've been adding and adding more words. So not every word in the Bible is true. They uh, they keep correcting the text, or think they keep correcting their text. But actually, I can show you that there's hidden formats here that become very clear. And when I put them in first person, they read taste a whole lot better. Uh, do not, and I want to get rid of this, so that'll be eight point. Do not drag me away with the evildoers and with those who work. Now, let me see what they are doing with this word here, iniquity. Distress. See how they did use it for evil four times? So what I'm doing is I'm looking for like the biggest number here and see if I can change it to that wickedness. 
Yeah, I think I would change it to wickedness, and that would be uh, pretty understandable. They could have used it themselves, as they showed you. Wickedness. So changing that word with those with those who away with the evildoers and those who work wickedness. Okay, now that seems to be again this comma period who speak to their neighbors while well, their heart is evil. They speak peace, who speak peace with their neighbors while well, evil is in their hearts. That seems to be, this one seems to be pretty decent. I haven't found any words that just need canceling out. Well, little ones, fine, but nothing like a whole verse yet. Uh, let me see here. Um, oh, yeah, now see, this is what they do. They'll put in all these words for this one word. So, ascribe a point. Um, designate, deliver, delivered. Gives. Given, yeah, that's a lot there. So, give them according to their work. Um, I want to say judge, not this. What's worse, J's, H, I, 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 I know, and it goes right there. So, you didn't use the word judge, so, recompense, is there another word here? Perform, make, present, put. No. These, I'm not sure here that there's actually the word that I want to use. So this might be the first. If I use the word give, I don't think it's going to be Execute. No. Establish only once. That's kind of... A point. Okay. Ascribe. Ascribe to them according to their word. Okay. I think I can use the word ascribe. Scribe. Now, when I'm adding the letter word to, I use this red and I italicize it. And then that way, when I get rid of it, you'll see the words in italic will mean that I've added those. Um, but because I don't think they're that important of word, I don't make them gray. Ascribe to them according to their works. or according to their deeds. Um, I'm going to use, I'm going to leave it as works right now. And according to their, to the evilness of their practice. Whoops. Wrong. And I'm going to get rid of this. It's a practice that they have. Uh, when they married the daughter of a foreign god, that's they're meditating to have a sex with a so-called female goddess. Ascribe to them according to, yeah. I'm going to use that word again. Ascribe once. Ascribe to them according. According to their deeds of their hand. It's almost like I want to divide that into two because there's so many words here. 
But then again, if I'm following what I see above, I don't need their deeds. That would be understandable by their hands to to their deeds. And I would get this word, bring it down here, and say that I added that, and I get rid of that according to their deeds. Repay them. Let's see here. Um, what they deserved deserves. I'd have to add a word. Okay. I try to make all the words simple enough for a 12 year old to read. So I guess I'm going to leave that alone. I I would like to just note it in yellow that I want to take a look at that. When I reread them over and over, then it becomes a little bit different. Let's see. I'm about halfway through. Well, not really halfway through, but. Well, the promise of Jesus. Oh. The promise of Jesus. Okay, I guess. Where did I leave off? Um, petitions and wickedness, evildoers. I was talking, oh, I went to recompense, uh, recompense them. Okay, what I did was I took the text and then I brought it down here and I've been editing these first couple verses here. When I call to my, when I call you my rock, and I don't like calling our creator a rock or be silent to me. And what I left off here is I'm becoming like those who will go down to the abyss. Hear my petitions when I cry to you for help. Now, I still won't, I don't think I can really connect them yet. Um, I had the word abyss here, so I wanted to clean up some of these things here first before I started adding new text because I got carried away. And let's see. This would have been, no. If I removed it, then I had, then I added it here. Okay. Because these are new edition edits that I'm doing. But I'm not seeing a four verse grouping of words yet. Okay. The other thing about text that there is a two verse format, there is a three verse format, and there is a four verse format. So the thing here is, is, I'm believing that the older text is a two verse and then they developed into a four verse writing later. So when it's talking about his tent, um, now we know that it could be um, up to the time of David, up to the time of Solomon. Okay, from the from entering the promised land to now then. But do not send me away with evil doers. And that would be his promise that he understands the promise that they made with his their forefathers and mothers in the Sinai. So this is not saying that these evil doers are existing around them right now that I can see in the text here, who speak peace with their neighbors while evil is in their heart. Okay, now I know that these two want to hook together. Now there's the first real grouping that I can say continues this story to become a larger paragraph. 
ascribe to them according to their works and according to the evils of their practice. Ascribe to them according to their deeds and repay them I don't see this recommend, recompense again. See, now that I'm reading it when it's cleaned up here, ascribe to them according to their works. And I'm not seeing the word ascribe now either. I'm seeing judge them according to their works and according to the evilness of their practice. Ju and judge them according to their deeds and repay them for their wickedness, not for their... Here, I'm looking at the word recompense here, and I'm not seeing their deeds. Repay them for their... The deeds is in the verse above. So here. And if I had to add, I'd have to say what they deserve. So that word is still going to be in yellow for right now. Now, hear my petitions, my cry for help. When I lift up my hands to you, and then this one, then this becomes a four verse and a four verse. And then it's kind of like we're missing. And the sense of. Or be silent to me. This is the same thing, and that's what it should be. They hook together, but if I but I need this to connect down here, and then one of them have to go. But I'll do that a little later. And let me get back up here, because they do not regard the works. the works, the wonders now if he's talking to our creator this is because they do not regard your works your created work nor the deeds of his hand. This has to be your hands, but this is wrong. Um, in Genesis, he spake things into existence. So the thing here is, is this, this, these people would know that, nor the deeds from your mouth. This is our crater, so this gets from him, not hands, but mouth. He said, let there be light. See, and the stars were formed, nor the deeds nor the deeds from your mouth. Now that's odd because that hooks up with this one here. Hmm. 
And like I said, this was not needed. Works. And this should be changed to because they do not regard the wonders from your mouth, the, the creation, because they do not regard creation was from your mouth our creation was from our from your mouth i like that but that's that needs more work and maybe more study yet but i think i've got the right words now to start working with them um this has to be you i mean it's it's strange how they go from not knowing him to then a he, and then uh, a third person, and then you will not tear them down, you will bring them down. Um, let's see. This is going to be where their two words are hooked together, I'll bet. And this is five, you know, tear... See, here it is, two words together, and not tear them down, break them down. Oh, broke down. Overthrow. Well, I think I'm going to use the word bring, because that's the intent of the text you will bring them down. And this is where, yes, I know it's a little bit off. I'm pretty sure I'm not going to change the word, but it's just noting to self that I don't think this word needs to be uh, all italic. You will bring them down. And that let them not let them build up. You will bring them down and not let them build up. Build up. What is he trying to say here? Build up. Rebuild. Restore. I would say it has to do more with rebuild and not let them rebuild. And then don't need the word up. Now, you can't bless our creator. I don't care how good you are. You just can't do that. So... Why be blessed? I'm trying to see if the word will work afterwards. Why be blessed? Me because he has heard. Now it's kind of like he has heard his voice. And, and this is petition. So, see, I am, if 
if I said, I am blessed by YV, that word would be in the right location. I am I am blessed by wiving. Not because, because it's made a, because I don't need that. I need this for he. Heard I'm going to put the word my voice down here. I'm going to use because I have supplication up here. So I'm going to get rid of this. He has heard my voice. And then go here. Why the is my strength and shield, my heart. Not in him, my heart. Why is my strength and shield, comma, for my heart, for by my, for with my heart I trust him. I think that would be uh, personalizing the text by saying, it. for with my heart, I trust him. These little words stuck in here become, make it like a first person. And you'll notice when you start seeing the text clean up, I like saying the word read taste. They'll read taste better or they'll read taste personally to you and you'll get a feel for how that writer writes. So, um, let me see here a second. I don't want to see Liz rub my nose there trying to get rid of an itch. So, uh, YV is my strength and shield. With my heart, I trust him. It's almost like my my soul, I trust him. For with my soul, I trust him. Yeah, I'm just going to, because I'm thinking it might be a better word than heart. And I... And I am help. This seems to be text that they want to stick here. I don't need it. Therefore, my heart rejoices. Rejoice. I yes. I can't spell worth it. Yeah, I was thinking there's that C. <laughs> I just couldn't, couldn't do it. Brain got stuck there. 
Therefore, my heart rejoices. And with my... And here's something. It says song. I will thank him. But see these, these groupings? These are known as a psalm. Once you understand what's going on and you're seeing these all over the place, and that's how they wrote, they had to have a word for what they called these. I believe they called them psalms. So the thing here is this, and with my psalm, psalms, I will thank him. With my psalms, I thank him. So it's not, it's not a song. And I think it's reasonable enough that it's within a shadow of what this word is supposed to be. And with my songs, I thank him. With my psalms, I thank him. Now that becomes a period and a comma. Wivy is our strength, not their, our strength. Whoops. Is our strength. And he is uh, now out of all this, we don't have Jesus yet until the end. So this doesn't this can't be a psalm by David, because David, once he knows, and that's at the end of his life, I guess he knows. Um, then he knows it's anointed. But how is it he is anointed? Why he is our strength and is yes. And this is not known yet. Why is our strength? For he is. For he is our saving. For he is our defense. Don't need that word. <clears throat> Now, this by his anointed, he will save his people and bless your You, as a shepherd, you don't carry them forever. You would guide them. So let me correct the little words here first. Guide them. And then these here would be by... And this would be Jesus here. So I got to use... That by, uh, yes, I can do the screen. I put it in red and I highlight it red and it just disappears. So, his anointed will save his people.
see like that. <laughs> and I just put it in red when I knew I was going to do that. Um, this, he will, he will save his people. No, that isn't good. I hate it when I look up and Microsoft does this to my work. Um, these are his people. By his anointed, by his anointed, he will, by his anointed, he will save his people. by his anointing. It has to be anointing. Um, by his anointing, by our creator appointing him, they understand that the king needs, the king also was anointed. We don't have a lot of text from many of of the kings, but I do know that Elijah, no, Elijah sent his attendant to anoint Jehu, who was a commander in the battlefield, and he was in a tent with a bunch of other commanders, when this guy comes in, the appointee comes in, and he says, I have words to talk to you. And then he goes out there and he pours the oil over his head and he pronounces him king. And then what happens is when he goes back in the tent, he's wiping the oil off his head and they ask him what, what happened. And he says, he he's some crazy nut and he, he anointed me king. And they all get up and said, okay, you're a king. You've been anointed. And they knew it was done by a prophet, so it was by order of our creator to anoint him king. And he goes out and he goes back and he kills, um, I think, can't remember who it is, but Jezreel as well. But the only thing is, is this anointing is is very important. David had a prophet go and grab the oil and anoint uh, Solomon uh, with the oil as king, and that stopped all his other sons from proclaiming they were a king, because um, they ex one of them was actually held a feast like I'm going to be king, and all of a sudden they heard the rumor and they all left him. Um, but it's because our Creator told David he's going to to have told David to make him king in your place. By his anointing. So that is, he will save his people. And bless his inheritance. And as that be there, and as their shepherd and as their shepherd well I get rid of that and I just as a herder whoops it's not not these letters I keep doing that. I've I've got all kind of new um, macros here, so I've got to get used to them. Years, I mean, like 
20 years of using certain keys and got to learn different ones now. And as their herder, he will guide them forever. And that's the truth. Because this forever is our creator. And guide them, capital G, red. And don't need this verse at all. Now, when this text gets cleaned up, I'm pretty sure I stopped right there at the yellow word. Come down here, put this here. I'm getting close to being done. This one didn't take long. This one, gee, I'm only an hour into it. Um, and I need this to be down. Here, replace all. Nope. And then I need two spaces, no formatting, to one space, replace all 12. Is there one hanging? Nope. Okay. Well, it does look like that goes together. This looks like it's going to go together. This looks like it's going to go together. So it looks like we've got a four verse format here. No. Oh, can I get rid of the numbers here? Now, do two of these verses make a larger paragraph? That's what I'm looking at right now, because that is another style that they do that with. Um, do not be deaf to me or be silent to me. I, I am becoming like those who will go down to the abyss. Hear my petitions when I cry to you for help, when I lift up my hands toward your tent. That wind has. Um, as I lift my hands toward your tent, instead of them knowing he's in heaven, <laughs> And he knows there, he's, he's, he visits his tent. This is why um, he's saying these words towards your tent. Solomon, when he um, I guess they finished building the house for our creator and said he made a forever house for him. He was petitioning our creator and talking about those who go into captivity, that if they pray to his house, that he would forgive them. So this goes with what Solomon said. So, I can't say that this is wrong. I can say that this is right and explain uh, a king doing the same. Do not send me away with away with evil doers. Not and or or those who work wickedness, who speak peace with their neighbors, 
what evil is in their hearts. What evil is in their heart. Okay. Ascribe to them according to their works and according to the evilness of their practice. Ascribe to them according to their deeds and repay them. Still don't like that word. Okay. Theorist time. That doesn't work either. <laughs> okay, let me look over here again. What is the word deeds here? See, it's different. So if I go here and I replace, where is the word deeds? 17 times. Their works, 42. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the word works here. And I'm going to put deeds here. But not like that deed. Describe to them according to their works and repay them for their deeds. I like that. I like that. That that finally gets rid of the yellow. I was just looking to see how they could um, look together. Because this is almost like that, and then this would be a double space. These two are connecting. Then this, and then this. And then I guess I'm... I either have to make that one sentence and get rid of one or something because here are my petitions and it's do not send me away so that's a petition so these two are hooking together these two are hooking together yes these two are hooking together like that, and then this is not hooking together. This is like I'm missing the four verses down here. So, and say that that text is missing. Okay, I want to wait for that at the top there to end. I want to see what happens here. Hear my petition. Hear my petitions when I cry to you for help. As I lift up my hands towards your tent, do not send me away with evildoers or those who work wickedness, who speak peace in the with their neighbors, well, evil, well, evilness. Uh, well, evilness is in their hearts. Ascribe to them according to their works. I got the word works here. Hold on. And according to their evilness of their practice. Describe to them according to their works. Okay. Let me come back over here and see what... 
see, this is the word work here. I didn't see it. And it's another word. Okay. And I like the word conduct. Okay. Or doings. Work, they used it, yes. But conduct, deeds, doing, work, acts. Ascribe to them according to their acts and according. I think I'm going with the word uh, conduct. That way, ascribe to them according to their conduct. I don't need the word according if I use the word judge. Judge them by their conduct. Whoops. Judge them. By their conduct. I just kept seeing according, 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 and that wasn't make any sense. Judge. And since I added that word, it's italic, I can get rid of it. Uh, judge them according, judge them by their conduct. And the evilness of their practice. Judge them to get rid of that word. I added it and the evilness of their practice. Judge them by and judge them by their works and repay them for their deeds. And is in there quite a bit now. Judge them by their conduct and the evilness of their practice and judge them by their works to repay them for their deeds. To repay them for their deeds. Because they do not regard the works from your mouth. For you will bring them down and let Now this, you will bring them down and not let them build up. And then we have Jesus at the end here. He's building up for that. Because they do not regard the prophecy from your mouth that you will bring them down and not let them rebuild. Because the prophecy from his mouth would be Jesus down here. And it has to be, I don't see Jesus in the text above. I see the word prophecy here. Or is it C? I never get those two right. And then this would be Jesus here. And this would be 
the prophecy from your mouth. They do not regard for he will bring them down. And this is Jesus here now. He will bring them down and not let them build up. This has to be he. He will bring them down and not let them build and let them rebuild. I'm happy with this word here. Oh boy. Now I know that. When I added the word prophecy, because other than that, where is Jesus in the text? Well, I guess I like the word heart now. Therefore, my heart rejoices in my psalms. With my psalms, I thank him. And I was going to say, and by his anointing, and by your anointing, he will say, I think that's I think that's a little bit better here that this all these are like this, but this is who you're gonna anoint as Jesus and by your anointing. I think I had it as that in the beginning. <laughs> but by your anointing, he will save his people. And as their herder, he will guide them forever. I don't like only having one word in this verse. As their herder, he will guide them. Forever in heaven. And so I'm adding these gray. Okay, now the only thing I got to do, because this is going to connect, these two are connecting, those two will connect. Those two connect. I don't like calling our creator a rock. I don't think he would either. So what is this? Do why the I call? Do not be deaf to me. Yes, and then this one here. Get rid of that one. And then I'm just missing I am missing text from above. So let's take a look at what I've got here. This gets to be the the words from what 20 at least 2400 years ago. Now what I'm going to say is not everybody's going to be able to put in the words that I just put in. But but the thing here is, is um, right now I'm pretty much telling you why I'm putting the word prophecy in here because we, we're going to end up with Jesus. But they have to know this prophecy from your mouth. 
Now the thing here is, is they practice this evil work or of sitting and meditating because they believe that that's how they gained a soul and become a god. Uh, a lot of times you'll read YV of hosts. Now, what the word host means is um, the stars in heaven, they become gods in heaven. That's what they thought. They, that's what they thought they were becoming. But the object um, is, is that this text, I bring it down here like this. Well, it's rather long, so let me just grab it here and open up and then blow it up. I'm trying to get it large enough for you to read. You can take a screenshot of that, and you can say, I watched this crazy dude <laughs> actually find the hidden formats in the Bible, proving the Bible has been covered up by bad guys. <laughs> but that is what I'm doing here. The more people learn this, the more they will come to understand that this is Jesus's prophecy, and this is not a game to me. So these words are very much real when you read these now. And what I'll do is I'll take a screenshot as well, and then I'll put that up on the list. So let's see here.